The theft of a nine-year-old girl's bike in West Wego is getting a lot of attention on social media, not because of the crime, but the way the officers treated the case when it couldn't be solved. Nikki Davidson has more on that. Officer Joseph Milano has only been on the job with West Wego PD for about eight months, but he's quickly discovered. There's never the same thing that happens at the same time each day. You never know what you're going to get into. And when he responded to a call early this month, a nine-year-old girl named Ava needed his help. The bike she'd gotten for her birthday and Christmas a few days ago had been taken. She was very distraught. She was crying, and it kind of it really touched me. The officer says he spent four hours driving around in his squad car to find the bike. And when he couldn't find it, he came up with a new idea. It was, it was, it was almost personal to me, and they always say, don't let this line of work become personal. But at that point, I was like, you know, something's got to be done. He went to his supervisor asking if he could replace the bike himself with his own money at Academy Sports, the same exact model that was stolen. She thought it was a, a wonderful idea, and me and her, we chipped in together. Then surprised little Ava by bringing it to her doorstep. Uh, the look on her face, the look on her face when she got it, it was, it was priceless. It's much more than he needed to do, but Officer Milano says there really was no other option. If you're in a position to where you can help other people and it's not going to put undue strain on you, you should go ahead and help other people. Nikki Davidson, Eyewitness News. That smile. Ava was in school today when we shot the story, but her mom said the family is so grateful for the bike. And she says Ava used to be afraid of police officers, but she is not anymore.